The use of templates allows you to create custom project exports such as inspection reports, defect notifications, supplement forms, status messages, or free messages in PDF format according to your needs. Among other things, you can customize the title page, the summary page, or use your own logo. Excel exports can also be customized. On the overview page, you have a search function available to quickly retrieve certain templates. On the right side of the screen, you will find various options. Using the copy icon, templates can quickly be duplicated. The pencil icon is used to edit existing templates. Templates can be deleted with the red trash can icon. To create a new template, click on Create PDF Template in the upper left corner. You will then be able to indicate what information your report should contain. In the upper section, you can name the template. Your reports will show the contents of your tickets. Sorting allows you to specify how your tickets are sorted, for example, by date or ticket ID, and whether it should be in ascending or descending order. The visibility feature gives you the ability to limit the visibility of your template to specific users. Under settings, you can specify whether predefined elements such as a table of contents or project details are to be inserted on the title page. Under header, you can insert a title image for your report. For the best optical processing, we recommend a size of 566 times 100 pixels. Under the Title Page tab, you can design the cover page for your report. Here, text can be entered and formatted directly, or alternatively, a PDF file can be uploaded. In the section below, you can specify which contents of tickets should be included in the report. You can specify to display an associated image in a specific size. You can specify whether a section of the plan on which the ticket is noted should be listed and whether log-related documents should be displayed. In the following section, you can specify which fields of your tickets are displayed. For example, if you don't want the recipient of the ticket to be displayed, it can simply be removed. You can also override the names of the fields for your report. Use the text box next to the original name to do so. With attributes, you can also add information from the dynamic fields of your layout to your report. In addition to the title page, you can also customize the summary page of your report. Here too, Independent text input can be performed or PDF files can be imported. Once the report is customized to your liking, save it by clicking Save. The newly created report can now be used under the Tickets tab and on individual tickets. After clicking on the Export PDF button, you can select the desired template. 